And that's your business. We're glad you're watching Morning Express. Uh, the Member of Parliament, Dagoretti North, is in studio with me. Karibu sana, Simba Arati. Sure. We appreciate you making the time to be with us this morning. And it's your first time as Member of Parliament, but it is not your first time uh, having sought elective position. Take us through for those who do not know the man, Mr. Arati. Tell us more about yourself. Um, uh, thank you, Sophie. And I want to say Simba Arati. Um, uh, I'm the third born in a family of seven. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, I've come up um, after school, and that is after from four when I passed my exams. I did indeed uh, come up to my elder brother made me to come to Nairobi, mm -hmm. and that's specific in satellite, uh, Riruta. Yeah. Uh, when because my parents happened to have uh, been staying up country, therefore my brother told me. What do you do? Simple. You need to know how people they live in Nairobi. It's very fact you pass exams, or you need to. So you need to know how Nairobi is a people. Mm -hmm. For the notion I had, Nairobi was that even good, clean. But then when I came, in, I found that my brother, and actually my brother, had gone in some uh, work outside in Eldoret. Right. If I had to take over, but indeed he had started selling Skmawiki. That's why I started also too. So you came to Nairobi and you were selling Skumawiki? Selling Skumawiki. Okay. Uh, I sold Skumawiki before I joined college. And after college too, I went back because I didn't get anybody to, 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 to give me a job. Mm. Went back to selling Skumawiki. And did two, that's two, two, two or six, two or, two or seven, there was a by-election in Ruta, which I attempted. Uh, out of the outcome, of course, I was defeated. Mm -hmm. I was competing using mo a motorbike. And, uh, what were you telling people then? Because I'm sure uh, many of them had uh, seen you sell the Skumawiki. I uh, did. Yeah, what were you telling them as you campaigned? First of all, you know, there were a number of issues that we were touching. The roads were bad. Horrible um, Bekmigo could not be able to address those things. Mm -hmm. And I thought that because the person who was there as a councillor and who had passed away had indeed to take over from him. But then, what happens is that Beth Mugo gave uh, actually um, uh, uh, support for the guy who won the election then. I thought it was a short while. If I went into 207, 207, what happened is that um, we went into an election. Mm -hmm. I won the election. But then, uh, the came that morning because in the evening, we count, out of the counting we had, it happened that you announced winners, therefore people went Winner back. for what position? Uh, that is a councillor. Councillor, okay. Um, people went back to, the, to, the, to their houses singing, but in the morning came to Kenya Science, we found things and all that same the, the way we left them yesterday. Therefore, we were the first people who opposed actually the elections on uh, which happened 207. Yeah. But then, out of it, uh, I, I was knabbed, I know, for three days uh, when, when we stopped the announcement of the elections at uh, Kenya Science. Mm. I don't know where I was put for three days. Then you were kidnapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I strongly believe that uh, those were the agents of uh, the government. Uh, so what happened? After three days, they just let you go? Yeah. They dropped me at uh, DOD. And uh, I found people that looked me in the police station, mortuary, you know, hospitals. Mm -hmm. But then when I went back, um, Raila Amoro Dinga nominated me as a councillor to Nairobi City Council. Okay. Uh, I served for five years, of course. In five years, what happens is that um, I didn't fight for even the mayor position. Yes. Um, out of it, I know very well that um, at the City Council, if uh, they, they were looking at um, tribal, there was issues of tribal, and it happened that I was the only person from my tribe, but then managed to get 14, 14 votes out of 20. Actually, the Alado got 29, therefore, mm -hmm. to beat me in that. But that night, I remember very well, what happens is that um, uh, at Naivasha, I, you know, I knew very well I was winning the election because the way things were uh, uh, honorable uh, Fred Gomo. Uh, who had caused me to step down for for George? I refused, of course, and Raila 
insisted that there must be democracy mm. uh, experienced in our party. Therefore, money was spent that night, good money, and I don't want to say how much was spent. Yeah. Uh, then uh, on that fate, there is a position for the chairman for general purpose. General purpose the, is the, 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 the position which controls all all the assets of the council yeah which was actually the part of the mayor's docket but then i remember Raila Molodinga telling george that you have to be a mayor simba to be the chairman of general purpose committee so did you i did indeed yeah uh, therefore george remained uh, to be a ceremonial mayor that i was running the show you were running the show so after that is when then came the last election when you sought to, to represent the people of dagoretti north indeed i did i did and um they they they, they managed to give me uh, uh their, their the mandate yeah. to 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 run the affairs of the constituency all right and now we have the elections coming up the odm um you have been a member for odm how long now uh long enough long enough how long is long um, enough that's uh <laughs> Since two, two or two, two or two, two or two, when uh, you know before ODM was uh, there was for uh, ODM Kenya, uh, you know. Since 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 the time of, uh, we were in school, mm. um, but then I got to be life member. That's two or seven. All right, and you're seeking to be party leader, Precise. a position that has been held by the former prime minister. Uh, heavyweight in politics has been around for a very long time. Has sought the presidency uh, several times now, three uh, to be precise. Before perhaps we'll be seeking it another time. And of course, he's a very influential leader. So when you come into this equation and you want to oust him to be the party leader, uh, several conversations will go around that. But let's begin with why you think uh, and why you want to be party leader of the um. One, I want, I want to show you, Sophie, that uh, one, the party, we have an agenda, mm -hmm. a common agenda. And in most cases, you get that... Um, what happens is that um, you get, because you have a common agenda, you may not have your own agenda as an individual. You right. must pursue the party agenda. Mm -hmm. And indeed, most of the times that's why, because the, there is a common agenda, you get people turn to be personal, uh, to attack characters. But then that's not, that's not, not, not what I want, because I know uh, the prime minister has done a lot for this country far and wide um, and uh, it's a, a congratulation and indeed which I want to uh, to say that I congratulate him for the good work that he has done when he was being jailed at the time I was born 1981 he was in jail that is the time actually I'm, I'm being born mm. I know that he has done great for this country the second liberation of this country Raila has participated for us to enjoy the democracy that we're talking about today in all levels realize it participated i want to say that but indeed why we need to be able to uh, you know he has uh, twice or thrice he has um, run for presidency mm -hmm. and uh, that's the wrong no notion that people have that um, uh, one has to be part leader to run for presidency but then you know very well like our party has been having some problem yes and uh, i believe the problems which are there it is the only party which it tries to address its problem through the democratic process mm -hmm. and i believe that uh, a time has come for now that we can uh, help honorable raila odinga if he has the intention to run for 2017 to clinch that seat uh, so that uh, all other matters of the, co the, the the party has to be handled with different people especially so do you leader. think that has played a role in him losing the other elections because he's doubled up as party leader when you say help him what what do you mean and he hasn't uh, said he'll run in 2017 or has he uh yeah of course he's our presidential candidate 2017 mm -hmm. okay. and i want to strongly believe that we'll support him uh, for 2017 yeah I, I don't want to say that i don't have the ambition to to to, to run for president for this country mm -hmm. because if today you 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 see the living costs of many people in this country is unbearable um Zoria, yesterday night i saw uh, 
even costs and bills and charges in, in hospitals have gone up. Insurance companies, they have hiked, actually they have said it, Parliament passed 16% on VAT. Mm. It has to translate it into the, 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 what patients have to pay. Mm -hmm. uh, you remember when they came to power, they told us within 45 four days, flour will drop to 45 shillings. Mm. Today, it's 150. The cost of living continues to be high. Therefore, mm. what, what, what do we want to say? Uh, I know the world is running and we want to help him. So we is, don't want do you him. think that has made him fail to that question? I do you think in the past it's because yeah, he's it's, had too much responsibility? I don't think that it has made him to fail. Mm -hmm. uh, you know very well we won an election. Odium won an election. And well, they're not in government. We're not in government because indeed it is the players. When you get into, in, into, into, into a, a football pitch, mm -hmm. then you, you turn to get that uh, people have turned the game to be rugby. What do we expect? The ref, when you when when you're asking the ref, the ref tells you, "Hey, let us go on." I think there is it's a good game. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. We won the election, but then another person is the one who's on power, and we are saying uh, they're not doing enough. Raila has to take us through. And so when you say people. help, you say you want to help him. Talk to us about this help. What help? Um, I want to say that. Um, I know, apart from our election being stolen, we have won our problems. That we can make sure that our election is not stolen again. And that's why I'm saying we need to be able to have more of us energize Raila to take over power. One, you can, from even our primary elections, what happens is um, you get the Certificate they are being dished out, they are bought. And all these things, they are, you know, Raila is blamed that it's the pet leader, is the one who, issue, who, who dishes those certificates. And Raila is nowhere. You cannot get that Raila is involved in those things. That's why I want him to concentrate on presidency and the matters of the party we take on. But why then not have that conversation internally so that he does not put himself up? Because he is vying because he wants to be. So if in fact he shares and you share that as a conversation internally in a party, then he should not be vying because then he should be agreeing with your thoughts that yes, I should focus my energies on the presidency and perhaps leave party leadership to the other members of the party. So why is it you've not, he's not been able to get to the place where he shares your thoughts? It really is uh, one democratic person. And they want to see democracy taking place. But he's, yes, party. democracy, but he's still putting himself up for the Precisely, position. precisely. You, you see what happens is at the moment what our, our, our constitution says that the party leader becomes automatic the presidential uh, uh, candidate. Mm -hmm. But indeed, uh, out of what we had yesterday in um, Nevasha, we say we are looking into the constitution, we see how best we can be able to handle these things. But then before, uh, he has to stand in. But indeed, what, what we are saying is, it's a democratic process. If I beat him, and it happens that he's not running for 2017, there it is, all over, to offer the solution for this country. Um, what I believe strongly is that, uh, uh, because many people say, uh, I normally say this saying, that uh, it's not the fight of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight of the dog in the fight. Uh, I have to repeat it this morning, that, um, uh, okay, Simba, Simba from a councillor, being a member of parliament, I believe the sky is the limit, and I may, if Raila is not running for 2017, I'll take over. Okay, let's talk about the position and what the role is for the party leader. You're leading, um, you know, people that have also been in this for a long time. And some will argue in leadership, you know, you want to be led by somebody who's been there and then has an understanding of the dynamics and the kind of setup and institution and game they're getting themselves into. And this being your first time, uh, do you think you have what it takes and are inspiring enough confidence, even with the delegates, in as far as leading the orange democratic movement because it's no you know small movement uh, Sophie I want to uh, I just uh, take you back um, up to the time we was living power we didn't know about Uru Uru was nowhere Uru has not been any struggle in this country but he's the president today 
Therefore, uh, the issue that uh, people, they have been in power for so long, they have the experience. There is no experience. Here is the passion and the capacity for you to be able to read the country. If you read many histories, uh, like China history, the person who changed China to be today um, one of uh, the leading uh, world country, he was not in power. Um, if you check Obama, Obama just the other day he was a senator, and uh, they did, it, it was not believed that he didn't have any experience like mm -hmm. McCain and other people. Uh, therefore, what we're saying, Bill, Bill, uh, Miss Bill Clinton, uh, she didn't have any, but she was running for presidency of, of the United States of America. Therefore, what we're saying is, I have what it takes, and I believe that a time has come for us uh, to see things differently. When things are done, you don't ask why. You ask why not. Okay. Why, why are they not done the right way? So what is it about you, you, you believe you bring to the table, that makes you um, the right candidate to lead the party? I believe that um, one is um, uh, we need to be able to integrate. Mm -hmm. To integrate in terms of um, the old and the young for us to be able to realize the dream. And especially I want to talk over uh, the ODM. Yeah. Our agenda and the vision is the trans to transform the institutions of this country. Uh, people to, 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 to obey the law and actually f and do what the law requires. Mm -hmm. All this mess that we have in the country is because people don't care. Um, today we're talking about corruption. The people who are perpetuating the same is the people in, the, in power. We're talking about drug. Uh, this is a very tony issue of uh, drug trafficking mm. in the country. Who are doing it? Right. If you're talking about poaching, who are doing it? Yes. There are those people. It's not the guys who are being shot in the, in the game reserves. Right. Mishmiwa, I'm going to just stop you for a second to pick a call from one of your uh, members in Dagureti North. Wanjiro is calling us. Good morning, Wanjiro. Hello, Sophia Wanona. Hi, how are you? Mzuri sana. Simbarati, how are you? Mzuri. Eh, uh, this is Nishera Wanjiro from the Goretti North. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to assure Kenyans that uh, Simbarati is not trying this thing, eh? And uh, in fact, he's going for the party leader and we are behind you. Okay. Thank you. he is capable. He is capable and uh, we've seen it. All right. One thing that we have here in Moshimiwa. Yes, yes. Unani skiriza? Nakupata. Eh, mimi nataka, ata ukishindwa, junajo ukashindwa, ukishindwa ata na kidogo, usitake kwa odia mbado ukai pale pale. So sawa. Alright, Wanjiro. Yes? Usitake kwa chama, wea kwa pale. Iwe njina na juu takita. Thank you. So. Thank you. Thank you very much, Wanjiro. And remember, you can be part of the conversation like Wanjiro was uh, just there. Call us with your question or comments uh, for the Mheshmiwa Dagreti North, Simba Arati, who's with us in studio uh, today. And Tan, we have another call. Good morning. Who's calling us? Jared? Hello? Jared from Nairobi, can you hear me? Hello? All right, I don't think you can hear me. We'll move on, but keep your calls coming. Um, so several things you'd like to put in place and change the game and improve the party. But let's talk about a little about ODM and, you know, this election. And there's been a lot of controversy, uh, especially in as far as who can run for what positions. There's several people who've dropped out of the race, um, and there have been allegations of... Um, and claims of interference by Rai Laudenga and that some people have been coerced to step aside. You mentioned when you were running uh, for the mayoral position, even there were people trying to get you to shelve your ambition uh, for a candidate having been seen to be more worthy to vie, if I may put it that way. Uh, but the main question is, you coming to this race now, there are those uh, saying that you are being planted uh, by Rai Laudenga in view of creating that democratic, you know, so that it's not seen like he's alone and he's just, you know, sailed in very easily, but that there's some form of competition where even as you've heard from Wanjiro, she says she supports you, but she also says she knows you lose. <laughs> so 
you know, before you answer that question, let's talk to Jared who's calling us from Nairobi. Good morning, Jared. Morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. Thank you for calling. Share with us your question or comment, please. Uh, if I can have a question, get over. Uh-huh. Okay. Aradi uh, Wakire. Um Zuri, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jared, for calling. Santa Sana. You've heard what he <laughs> I yeah. want to I want yes. to tell Jared that yes. um, Jared you need to, 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 to get it right. That the elections there is no way a system would have died. You're telling us that up to the day of election, the system were okay. Then that come that morning, you have already killed it, and you have an alternative going to money. Even by the time, and, and I want to say, Raila didn't say that the military uh, indeed uh, stole election. Mm. He said what happened at Bomas was like a coup military coup. Now, at Bomas, at any tiring station, you are, you are entitled by law to have your agents. Our agents, ODM, were chased out of, 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 of Bomas mm -hmm. by, 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 by the military. Karangi was there, all talk of those other guys. Therefore, we are saying, even the court, we are talking about the court. The court itself is saying uh, that the, 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 the uh, the evidences you have is so much that we cannot be able to have it read. Then wh why are you there as a court? You know, um, well, the arguments that have been made on that, first on the issue of bombers, there were too many members going in. There was a press conference issued on that by the IBC at the time because a certain number of individuals and representatives from each party were allowed, but that the party wanted too many. That's what has been said by IBC on the same. And of course, on the question of, um, you know, the evidence and submission of the document you wanted to bring in, the court just simply ruled because of the constitutional timelines. It was out of time. It was submitted outside the constitutional timeline. So those are things that were, and already, of course, known to so, the council that was representing. So I'm saying what has been put forward, of so course. So you're by telling me you, you brought the case before court mm -hmm. and the, the, the evidence has been brought. Therefore, you are t telling us that the constitution has it that you cannot produce the evidence in court. Therefore, let us have it, the wrong to go. And that's why I brought about the business of, uh, you've gone into a football beach. Then, uh, you are playing, you realize uh, of a sudden a uh, uh, game has turned to be rugby. What do you do? All right. Uh, I, want to s I want to bring us back to our main conversation, back to our question, uh, you know, of that in seeking to, you know, show this picture of democracy, that you have been planted there to just look like somebody competing with Raila Odinga, but as Wanjiro and many others would argue that you know, they know you will lose, but that you're okay. there to show that, hey, there's some form of democracy here. I, I want to assign on you that uh, I only met Raila the day before yesterday, mm -hmm. and that is at Naivasha. I've not met him this year. I made the decision on my own. And I, I thought, after consulting a number of uh, delegates, it will be a surprise uh, that uh, I'll beat uh, my party leader in the forthcoming elections we have for the party on 28th. So even you admit it, it will be a surprise. So then why are you uh, doing it? I, I, it will be a surprise for him, uh, not, not for me, of course. Okay. I, I'm saying I'll beat him. Okay. I'll beat him. I, I'm starting and I'm saying, you know, first it was uh, Jubilee has planted Simba to, 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 to run for, for Raid. Uh, Raila has done it. I can say uh, I've done it before. I'm not doing it for the first time. I, I'm, I'm one person, uh, I believe strongly that uh, 
and I'm not in the fire. I've, 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 I'm not in the fire with Raila Molodinga. I've sworn in to respect him as my party leader at the moment. And if he beats me in Kasarani, I'll respect him and I'll give him the support that he requires. So it is not if that I you him, think you're a better leader than he is, because separate for us, because most of the times when you're vying against somebody, it's because you think you'll do a better job than they would. You present yourself as the better option. So is that you believe you're better in leadership than Raila? Or where, how do you want I, us to I, correlate your loyalty I, to I him? Want, I want to tell you, and I said this one, yeah. you know, the party as a common agenda. Right. And indeed, you cannot say that unless you improve on those agendas. Right. But you cannot say you are better off presenting those agendas than another person. Uh, what happens here, um, I believe strongly I'm better candidates. Than Rai Lodinga. Not than Rai Lodinga. Mm. In forging forward the agenda of the party. But he also believes he's the best candidate because and he's not, for the position. It's not, it's not better than me. Neither, even if he was here, he'll tell you that. Okay. The only thing mm -hmm. is he, he is better in advocating the agenda of the party at the moment. But don't you need such a person? We'll continue that conversation. Let's talk to Ken, who's calling us from Nairobi. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, you, Sophia. How are you doing? Thank you for calling. Um, share with us your question or comment, please. Yes, I just want to congratulate uh, yeah, I just want to congratulate uh, my Rati. Hello? Yeah. Yes, we hear you. Go ahead. Yes, I want to congratulate Mr. Rati. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for being a good guy. We find him a good guy. He's a humble person. And uh, uh, we, we tell him to push on with uh, the leadership he wants. We'll support you. And we want young guys like you who are, who are ambitious. And we want you to take over the party from uh, Mashima Raila. We congratulate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you very much for calling in your supporter there, Ken, saying he's admiring your um, ambition. Uh, but back to that, you've, 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 you've described Raila as, you know, being a man with the advantage of mobilizing and, you know, just bringing pull together and setting that agenda, as you've said. Uh, but isn't that what a party leader is needed? Do you think you have that kind of, you know, have you developed that kind of muscle so far in your career uh, as a politician to be able to do that, to lead this party? Or are you cognizant of your shortcomings in as far as the responsibility you seek to take over uh, so I, I'm strongly I believe I believe and um, uh, in myself mm -hmm. and I believe that uh, live about party leader given the opportunity to run this country um, I will mm -hmm. and I'm certain that um, many things will not happen because another thing apart from the party uh, businesses this country requires um, a radical surgery mm -hmm. in terms of uh, uh, institutional structure and for us to be able to move forward. This is the only country where we have 40, 40 million where we cannot manage, we cannot even account for just those 40 million. Whereas countries like China, which have 1.4 billion, America, which has around 400 million, mm -hmm. they can tell you where every one of its system are. Therefore, I'm certain, I have the vision and have the, I have the, that dream and I believe it will come to pass that uh, uh, we'll be able to make it happen. And uh, not necessarily, and I, I've, I've only uh, just reminded you on um, uh, Mushmiwa uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, mm. who was nowhere, uh, but through, uh, through, through being being put into test, of course, uh, by Moi bringing into um, into 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 the forefront uh, of the business of Kano. Uh, today we are talking about um, Uru Kenyatta being the president of the country. I can say they are very good students of their of, of their mentor. Uh, that's Moi uh, and uh, Kibaki, of course, to some extent. And uh, I believe strongly that uh, I will be better out of. The experience I've had, you may say that what experience do I have, mm -hmm. I have the little that he, which has been there, that I believe strongly that that one is enough. There's no need of miracles for us to be able to run the business of uh, this country. No need for miracles. We'll continue with that. Uh, uh, Shimiwa, let's talk to Lijodi, who's calling us from Lugari. Good morning, Lijodi. 
Good morning, how are you? I'm great, thank you for calling us. Share with us your question or comment, please. Yeah, I wanted to contribute to this discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, me, I've been a member of ODM for quite long. Yes. This is the party I know in and out. Right. What I would like to say is this. What is happening in the ODM and the way I know the party lead of ODM, mm -hmm. the party lead does not like the leadership of ODM to be led by somebody who has got an ambition, somebody who is going to challenge him seriously on the future coming election. That is why you define like Ababu Namambo who wants to run for the sexual general seat. They know Ababu is a very vibrant person. They want to kill Ababu by bringing this lady called Zani. I want also to remain friend. 2007, when we were doing presidential nomination exercise at Kasarani, right. we had Ruto, we had Mudawadi, we had Inyaga. I was the national delegate for ODM. Actually, what happened, there was no voting that was done. The votes we cast, they were not counted. What they did, they just awarded votes that Elo Ding has got 1,500, number one. Salia Mudawadi, 302, 390, number two. Ruto, 306, number three. Because mm -hmm. if Raila was interested in running this part, and, let, and we having fair competition, we could have guys like Kenneth Marendi, who are seasonal politicians, challenging Raila Odinga for the seat of that leader. Right. But this newcomer, Simba yes. Arati, this is a mockery of the highest order. Okay. Secondly, secondly, yes, very you quickly, find please. That yes, the rain started beating Raila or ODM party because ODM party and its leadership it is only the party that is creating enemies. You compare Raila 2007 with the Kibaki, you find that Kibaki never made enemies. The people he started with in the year 2002, there are the people he came and ended up when he was finishing his term, but the ODM and Raila makes enemies. He started with the Pentagon, five guys. He come and lose the Pentagon. From the Pentagon, you comes to the triangle of Kalonzo, Raila himself, and Wetango. Then you find that there is something not working in this party. Right. And that is why some of us, we left the party. What I would like to advise the same party, you are a young man like me. The earlier you leave ODM, the better for you and for your future ambition. <laughs> All right, we got audio. <laughs> All right, Lee all right, thank you so much for calling and sharing your views without advising. Uh, <laughs> you've been advised to ditch uh, ODM, that I, the sooner I, the better. I want to assure my brother, Rijoni, that I'm an ODM. Mm. And uh, the, the other thing Rijoni is talking from that is not in the party. Another thing. But uh, he was. He was. And another thing I want to uh, just remind Rijoni that uh, there was no, 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 no election for because Mdavan ran away mm. long time before even that, because there were demands that he was making uh, to be met. Then I spoke to Mdavan, if you ask him today, mm. I spoke to him. I told him the only relevance that you can make even in this country is stick, compete against Raila. And he was kind of saying, but do you think that is true? You know, it was, the, it was then the, uh, the minister for local government. Therefore, what I'm saying, uh, we are strongly, and this is the only party. I want to ask that not only Jordan and other, uh, 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 other friends, yes. the young people, that the only party which can deliver this country is ODM, not another party. But as you say that, ODM in itself is plagued by quite a number of challenges. You've talked about the nomination process. Even ahead of the election, the last general election, you know, there were questions raised about people having believed they won and certificates being issued to different people. So the party in itself and these recent ones over this particular election that's coming up, um, of being coerced to step aside. Uh, we've seen quite a number of those. So if you were able to become party leader, what is it you would do? What would be your first move to ensure that as a party then ODM becomes stronger and some of these issues that it, and challenges it has now are addressed? Uh, Sophie, I want to tell you nobody has been coerced to step aside. Mm -hmm. Raila as his own challenger, who is here, mm -hmm. then the, he has no business of endorsing it and at least outside there. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I brought it yesterday even our meeting in Naivasha. And um, I want to say those ones who did decide to step aside, 
uh, all didn't want to run is for their own uh, making. Others, they didn't even return the, 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 the nomination, mm -hmm. all the, the forms which they are filling. Therefore, how can you claim that you have stepped down all you have been coerced, whereas you didn't even pick the forms? But do you agree uh, there are challenges in the I party? I agree, I agree. But yes. then, what I want to say, and that's why we are saying the party leader has actually different to uh, operate mm -hmm. as from the presidential candidate because that one undo him so much because those ones who lose in those nominations because this is an exercise this is a party which is very popular even when when Joda is talking about um Abab uh, zani you know we expect those camps to be there as i have told you when it's a party mm -hmm. you have a common agenda vision all right. You really, you don't have another agenda mostly to dwell in. And I'll, I'll allow you to continue talking about that uh, in a short while. Let's first talk to Nicholas, who's calling us from Embu. Or have we lost Nicholas? Okay, I'm sorry about that. Sorry, sir. Yes, so you believe that, you know, having those factions being all in there is not a problem. No, it's not a problem. That's a very late ex exercise. And uh, that's why we're expecting that uh, democracy. That's why... If, if it was a selection, therefore, Raila would have gone along uh, as few people. But then we're saying we have a democracy in our party. We have to have it. We have to impress it for us to claim there is a democracy in the country before even we claim it. So how, how do you it. address the challenges, um, the ones you recognize that are of, in ODM to of, make it a stronger party? Of course, um, my reasoning and why I'm coming into uh, and uh, actually vying for, for the seat of the party leader is that we need to change our constitution. Mm -hmm. uh, that um, the people, and this is where we are going even wrong, and then uh, we admitted yesterday, and mm -hmm. I remember even the, the Prime Minister saying this, that it's only politicians who want to take everything in the party. Okay, we have the businesses of registration in the uh, National Assembly, we want to run party affairs, it's a law. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we are saying it's now the time for us to change our operational system. Right. That the people are running the party, indeed, they should not be even politicians. Uh, they, and, and that's why I need to come in to and add others, their details of, of the party. Of mm -hmm. course, um, you, you've seen when we have our meetings, when we do our things, you'll see Jubilee falling down. I may not say everything here, but what we are saying, I'm going to change the operations of our party. Be Raila beats me, all I beat him, we need to do it. But don't you already have responsibility being uh, representing the people of Dagoretti North? So that doubling up with the party leadership, should you not focus on that? Um, did what happens is that uh, uh, being a political also uh, a process mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the constitution or party allows us to do that, we have no option. We need to be able to offer leadership in that party. So you're not a Jubilee Mall? Uh, I don't dream to be, and uh, I don't. Uh, I, can, I can assure you that I, I don't share with them a political cap of, uh, of, of it. Okay. Finally, uh, just to clarify this, because somebody says here, uh, the Honorable does, uh, believes that uh, Raila is the man to lead this country, but believes he's better than him in leading the party. Quite a contradiction. I don't understand what he's saying. But also, as you go to this election, um, 28th of February, as the delegates come together, so on one hand, you're telling them, vote for me to lead this party, uh, because we need uh, Raila to focus on 2017. But Raila himself does not see the need to to you know, relinquish party leadership for the sake of that. So how do you, and what do you, other than telling them that it's because you want him to focus on that and his energy to support him, what else are you, as you go around with your campaigns, are you doing that, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, to convince the delegates to vote for you? Uh, so far, uh, I've gone several places. Yeah. And uh, I come to the end of this week, mm -hmm. you will uh, you'll see how we are doing it. Um, I know there are those that I had for Raila, and there are those ones who support me. Therefore, can I want uh, Sophie yes. one 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 important thing? Um, unless we change the way we look at things, and the leader is always the person who who sees an emergency before it becomes a problem. And that is what I want to bring into my party. Mm -hmm. And not only in the party, for this country as a whole. Mm -hmm. A lot of resources which are there, and um, we, which have uh, 
been poor, registration uh, pieces have been poor also to, to help this country, but have not been followed. And I believe our party, the only party that can lead and offer solution, as we said, is ODM. Is ODM. Thank you very much, sir. We appreciate you, you making the time to be with us. Right. Doug Reddy North, Member of Parliament, Simba Arati with us this morning. He's also seeking to become the next party leader of the Orange Democratic Movement in the elections that are coming up on the 28th of February. He wants <coughs> to oust the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga. He says, according to him, Raila should focus on clinching the presidency in 2017 and leave party politics and affairs to him and others. He believes is the best suited and he'll turn around that particular party. 